want to learn how to trade stocks and cryptocurrency, join our community of traders. Go to richpicksdaily.com and find the next 10 bagger. Hey, how you guys doing? This is Rich from Rich TV Live, and we have some big breaking news from Christina Lake Cannabis. I've been a big fan of Christina Lake Cannabis, and I think that they have what it takes to be a big winner, a premier producer of high-quality, low-cost, sun-grown cannabis flower, oil, cannabinoids, and hemp-based extracts, and derivatives serving domestic and international markets. Now, let's take a look at their news that is breaking this morning. Christina Lake Cannabis provides Q2 2021 update, including R&D milestones, personal expansion, and field preparation for upcoming season. So we haven't heard from them very much recently. Let's see what they got to say. So as the start of 2021 growing season nears, Christina Lake Cannabis has been undertaking site preparation and staffing initiatives. The company will, cultiv will be cultivating approximately 26,000 plants this year, an increase of over 15% compared to the 22,500 plants grown in 2020. Additionally, CLC continues its efforts in R&D, research and development, and sales as it speaks to further establish its position as an innovator outdoor cultivator, sorry, as an innovative outdoor cultivator in the Canadian cannabis industry. So this is the news, Christina Lake Cannabis Corp, CLC on the Canadian Securities Exchange, CLCFF on the OTCQB exchange and CLB in Frankfurt, Germany, is pleased to provide several updates relating to its business activities in Q2 2021 as the company makes advancements in the research and development of its proprietary cannabis strains, engineered from outdoor cultivation under natural sunlight. In addition to undertaking preparation costs for the 2021 growing season, such as clearing its field areas, onboarding new personnel, and installing upgraded irrigation equipment. Following a successful inaugural growing season in 2020, the company is further refining its cultivation methodologies to sustain its output of high-quality dried cannabis and extracts. With approximately 26,000 plants to be cultivated, an increase of more than 15% over the 2020 plant count of 22,500. Christina Lake Cannabis continues its cannabis extraction operations after nearly tripling its capacity as announced in March 31st, 2021 press release. That's impressive. Tripling capacity. Based on continued market demand for extracts such as distillate oils, winterized oils, and keef. Updates for Q2 2021 are provided below for, several, for seven areas of the company's business. Seven areas. Mature clones transferred from propagation room to greenhouse. As part of the company's R&D process, clones of several new cannabis strains developed using proprietary cannabis genetics have completed an observation period in which their growth has shown to be satisfactory for full-scale cultivation, which will now be tested in the company's greenhouse facilities to evaluate the properties for these new strains. Through strategic experimentation, the company is seeking to develop cannabis strains with desirable properties, for example, THC content, unique terpenes, as well as greater degree of durability for optimal outdoor growth. For example, physical strength of stocks, resistant to mold and pests, and pests, which could provide the company a competitive advantage in the outdoor grown cannabis space. Preparing field for planting to begin 2021 growing season. In 2020, the company used approximately 18 acres, 72,843 square meters of land to grow its inaugural crop, averaging over 1,800 kgs, 3,968 pounds of dried cannabis per acre. Efforts are currently underway to prepare the same space for this year's crop, which will consist of approximately 15% more plants than the amount cultivated in the previous year. Preparation activities currently underway include general tidying, removal of last year's stalks, stirring the soil, and surveying plant plantation layouts under the guidance of CLC's master growers, factoring the anticipated performance of newly added irrigation equipment. Seedlings begin to sprout in pots in advance of field placement. 
In an effort to repeat its success from last year's crop, the company's master growers have chosen the same seven cannabis strains it cultivated last year to comprise its principal commercial scale cultivation for 2021. Approximately 15,000 seeds from these strains were placed into individual pots, which are currently beginning to sprout. CLC anticipates the seedlings will be transplanted into the field within the next three weeks, marking the beginning of its growing season. Very exciting time for Christina Lake Cannabis. Timing strategies for harvesting. In a press release dated December 11, 2020, the company indicated that it was exploring opportunities to adjust standard harvesting timelines for certain cannabis strains, which could allow for certain plants to be turned over more than once in a growing season. Based on the spring and summer forecast for this year, the company believes this approach could be effective in the upcoming growing season based on the initial performance of its strains. Additionally, CLC intends to monitor the THC content of select strains to identify when the peak concentration is most commonly reached. Based on this idea, the company may elect to harvest these plants earlier or later than originally planned in order to maximize the quantities of THC it is able to capture from a given plant. Around the clock extraction of dried cannabis. After installing the Vitalis Consolvent Injection System, game changer for the company, as announced on the company's March 31st, 2021 press release, company's extraction capacity increased by more than 175%, preceding its first sale of distillate oil, as announced in a press release dated May 4th, 2021. So little by little, everything's falling into place. To capitalize upon this advantage, the company has added new shifts to its extraction schedule to scale out output of cannabis extracts, which it expects to sustain as it begins to accumulate an additional supply of dried cannabis from the 2021 growing season, hiring new staff for expanded operations. As of mid-May 2021, Christine Lake Cannabis had a staff of nearly 50 full-time and seasonal employees following the additional 14 new staff members, reflecting a strong and productive workplace culture. Several of CLC's existing staff members who held cultivation positions in 2020 have been promoted to extraction positions. Very good. Good to see people are moving up within the ranks. Continued sales efforts. So this is where we get very interesting because we want to know what's going on with the sales, right? CLC sales team has entered into discussions with several potential purchasers of its cannabis extracts across Canada, including entities in the vaping segment who have shown interest in the company's distillate oils following the recent 129,000 Canadian purchase order from a significant player in that category. Joel Demarsk, chief executive officer of Christina Lake Cannabis, commented, even without having officially started our growing season yet in 2021, we have already made some excellent accomplishments, which symbolizes our success in 2020, and I believe could foreshadow a prosperous second year. We expanded our staff by over 40%, got our first commercial scale purchase order, appointed a new president, nearly tripled our extraction capacity, and upgraded our shares to the OTCQB. That's a lot of progress. OTCQB market in the United States. We are getting ready for a very exciting year in which we will be growing even more cannabis plants, placing a greater emphasis on extraction and continuing our R&D initiatives to engineer cannabis strains with unparalleled properties for outdoor growing under sunlight. I firmly believe 2021 will end with very impressive results for CLC between the sales of dried cannabis and extracts from our 2020 harvest, in addition to the sales of what we produce this year. Nico Dehan, Chief Operating Officer of Christina Lake Cannabis commented, we've picked up excellent momentum going into our second year of full-scale operations, having proven our capabilities as a fully integrated developer, cultivator, and extractor of cannabis grown naturally under sunlight. Through strategic enhancement of various faucets, facets of our operations, we are confident that 2021 will be a very exciting year for all of us as we build upon our learnings and accomplishments from last year. Moreover, the weather forecast for Christina Lake in the spring and summer suggests we will continue to see very favorable hot and dry conditions to which our plants have been reacting extremely well so far. About Christina Lake's 
Cannabis Corp. Christina Lake Cannabis Corp. is a licensed producer of cannabis under the Cannabis Act. It has secured a standard cultivation license and corresponding processing sales amendment from Health Canada, March 2020 and August 2020, respectively, as well as a research and development license early 2020. CLC's facility consists of a 32-acre property, which includes over 950,000 square feet of outdoor grow space, offices, propagation, and drying rooms, research facilities, and a facility dedicated to processing and extraction. CLC also owns a 99-acre plot of land adjoining its principal 32-acre site, which enables the company to grow at a much larger scale. CLC cultivates cannabis using strains specifically developed for outdoor cultivation and in its inaugural harvest year produced 32,500 kgs, 71,650 pounds on its existing facility before developing an adjacent 99-acre expansion property. Such an expansion will ultimately bring CLC's annual cultivation footprint to over 4.35 million square feet, massive, which could enable at least 150,000 kgs, 330,693 pounds of low-cost, high-quality, sun-grown cannabis to be produced annually by the company. Wow. So that's a lot to take in. Um, all very positive shows all the advancements in the company, shows the growth in the company, and shows that they're well positioned for a bigger year in 2021 than they were in 2020. And revenue starting to come through the door. So love to know what you guys think. Now remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here at Rich TV Live. Consult a financial advisor before you make any decisions. Christina Lake Cannabis provides Q2 2020 update, which looks very positive, including R&D milestones, personnel expansion, and field preparation for the upcoming growing season. What do you guys think of this video? If you like the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. If you're not winning, you're not watching, we bring you the winners, we bring you the news, we interview the CEOs, and we bring it to you first. Hope you guys like this video. Love to hear your guys' comments. Love to know what you guys think about Christina Light Cannabis. Obviously, the cannabis sector has been kind of slow for the last few months. And it had a huge run up and is really kind of died off. So this is going, in, in my opinion, to be a buying opportunity for a lot of people in the cannabis space. At some point, we will see the cannabis space take off. And this could be one of the best, in my, in my opinion, this could be one of the best opportunities in the cannabis space considering it's just getting started. So I think that they have so much potential, so much upside, still a very uh, tight share structure, right around 104 million shares. And they're just getting sales ramped up and just getting their sales started. And look at that beautiful outdoor grow. So just an enormous, beautiful outdoor grow. And they're now starting to work with other licensed distributors in the cannabis space that are going to start buying their products more often than not, which is going to enhance their revenue. And at the end of the day, the biggest catalyst for all companies is revenue growth. So I anticipate we're going to see a lot of revenue growth from Christina Lake Cannabis moving forward. Stay tuned. I'll keep you guys updated as it comes in. This is Rich from Rich to be Live, and I'm out.